murder of 15-month-old Iris Mummert has led CBS 21 to take a closer look at the systems that are supposed to be protecting children. One piece of the puzzle is a court-appointed special advocate, or a CASA volunteer. They bill themselves as an independent set of eyes and ears of the court, helping children who have been removed from their parents. But not every county has access to these volunteers, including Adams County, where Mummert lived. I looked into why some counties have these advocates and why others don't. We have 67 counties doing 67 different things. Across Pennsylvania, there are 21 local CASA programs serving 28 counties. Once the judge appoints a CASA volunteer to a child or a sibling group in foster care or an out-of-home placement, it means that that CASA volunteer meets with the child wherever he or she is placed, gets to know the child first and foremost, and then expands outward. A CASA's role really is to gather that information and work with those social workers and those attorneys and provide information that can help everybody get to the right outcome for children. The CASA volunteer stays with a single case through review hearings and potential reunification. The role of the CASA at every hearing is to present to the judge and all the attorneys on the case a written report in advance. And that written report contains their fact-based observations, anything that they have gathered from the folks that they have spoken with, and then ends with some suggestions to the court. Tobacco says the CASA volunteers work collaboratively with caseworkers to serve as an extra set of eyes by focusing on just one case. Caseworkers with a caseload of more than one family, sometimes 20 families, or guardians ad litem that have, you know, tons of different cases moving through the court system just don't have the bandwidth. So our CASA volunteers can dig in and review, in one case, 7,000 pages of medical records to find a missed referral to a specialist that a child didn't get. Do you feel sometimes that CASA volunteers can almost serve as an additional check and balance within the system? We're not there to point them out or point fingers for blame, but we're there to work collaboratively. And yes, there's time and effort that CASA volunteers can put in that find things that have been missed or overlooked that um, once pointed it out can really help the outcomes for the children. Check and balance is probably a, a good way of saying it. I think it's just like another, as you mentioned before, another perspective, another layer. With a program that offers help to caseworkers and attorneys in the child welfare system, why do less than 50% of counties in Pennsylvania have a CASA program? We have limited bandwidth. Our uh, state office is small. We have uh, 10 staff members. And so we really prioritize the largest counties and work down through those. Just because a county has a CASA program doesn't mean every child is assigned that special advocate. They are generally assigned to the most complex cases um, because the judges know that they are a limited resource. We currently here in Lancaster have the volunteer population to advocate for about 50 to 55 percent of the youth in care. We're newer in Lebanon County, so we're only advocating for about 5 percent of those youth. And for children across PA that don't get assigned to CASA or don't have a CASA program in their county? There are guardians ad litem who are attorneys appointed to advocate for the best interests of the child, and they are required. However, they're limited in their caseloads and the ability they have to uh, provide that advocacy. And Debaco says in counties where they have CASAs, they need more volunteers to help step in and be advocates for these children and families. And if you have a case that you think we need to take a closer look into, call the Project PA Children in Crisis Hotline at the number on your screen. It's 717-857-3613.